All right, for 36, so this is an application of right triangle trigonometry. So let's go ahead and take a look at the question. It says, from the top of an apartment building, the angle of depression to a car parked on the street below is 38 degrees, as shown in the diagram below. The car is parked 80 feet from the base of the building. Find the height of the building to the nearest tenth of a foot. Okay, so this is the situation here. We have a right triangle. This is 90 degrees. Um, we are to find the height of the building, so let's call this X. Okay. In order to use right triangle trig, um, we need two sides and an angle um, in order for us to set up the problem. Okay, but if you look at this triangle, we have only two sides. How can we find an angle so that we can set up a, a ratio? Um, this 38 degrees right here, what does that tell us? That's, an, a very, that's a very important hint. Now, if you think back to geometry, um, or if you've taken geometry, this side right here is parallel to this side. So that 38 degrees angle of depression is equal to the angle of elevation from the roads to uh, this uh, line of view. Okay, so is that 38? This right here is 38 degrees also. Okay, now we have a right triangle involving two sides and an angle. So right triangle trick, we should think about so katoa. All right. Now we are going to be using one ratio here to uh, solve this problem. So is it sine for so, uh, cosine for ka, or is it tan for toa? So what we'll do is we'll label the angles we need um, the sides we need and the sides we know, and that should help us figure it out. Opposite the 90 degrees is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle. The side opposite the angle that's given, this side opposite this angle right here, that is known as your opposite. Okay, so this is your opposite. For O, this is H, and then this other side right here is the adjacent. Now, if you examine these three sides, on um, which side do you not know and you do not need? I know this side. I need to find this side. The hypotenuse plays no role in this problem. We don't know it. We don't need it. So we just scratch it out. Okay? So we need the trig ratio that involves opposite and adjacent. So if you look at Sokatoa, which trig ratio has just O and A? It's TOA, right? So what does that tell us? It tells us that tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So you see how that trig ratio relates the side to an angle, two sides to an angle. All right, so let's apply this formula to this situation right here. Theta is the angle, of course. So we have tan of the angle, 38, equals the opposite, which is x, what we're looking for, divided by the adjacent, which is 80. Now, to get x isolated, we'll multiply both sides by 80, 80, and 80. And in our final answer, the height of the building x will be 80 tan 38. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate what that is. Since we're dealing with degrees, let me make sure my calculator is in degrees. It's not, so let's do that. All right, so let's enter the expression 80 um, tan 38. And our answer is 62.502. So um, the height of the building is 62.5028. But we are to round it to the um, nearest tenth of a foot. So let's write down what our answer is. We're going to be rounding it up to this tenth right here. The number behind it is not 5 or greater, so we're just going to drop off that piece. So let's write down the answer. <clears throat> the height of the building, the height of the building is 62.5 feet to the nearest tenth. Okay, so that's that.